Well, Met Illinois has an amazing real estate market. It always has, but right now it is truly amazing. There are talk of listings coming off the um, coming on the market. People want to know in advance. I had two people ask me today if I have anything coming on. I do. I have properties coming on in January. Um, I have a builder who's building a home that I just sold him. Um, it's not on the market, so. You know, I know of a lot of things coming on. People use me as a resource. However, you must be aware, people are still, in my opinion, once in a while overpaying for particular types of properties in Wilmette. Uh, when they move to Wilmette from the city, they're a little clueless sometimes. And they buy properties that look good to a city person, but are not going to age well. They're, they're going to realize they kind of have something that maybe is a little unusual or they, they made an exception. So you really want to understand what fits into the Wilmette market over time. Um, you know, in five or 10 years or 15 years, are you going to have the opportunity to expand the house? Are you going to see appreciation? Um, are you going to be in a good spot um, where everyone's going to want that house when you go to sell it? rather than just a portion of the market and maybe some fresh city people coming up. So big things to consider. Overall, Wilmette is an amazing area that is right up on the lake and also has some of the most highly ranked schools, both public and private. This is Nutrier High School's West Campus, which is for about a thousand freshmen. And then there's 3,000 students at the East Campus. An enormous highly ranked school, really has great support for kids that are high achievers or for kids that need extra help, just very well known nationally. Loyola Academy is a top ranked school in the country, many state championships, tremendous programs, and just a very well known school. In the state, in the country, and some of the best sports programs from you know kindergarten through high school, and then you have your college sports. Um, the university is close by. It's a, a big sports culture, a uh, lot of opportunities if someone's into sports. So uh, a few things to understand is, one, there's a lake. Uh, well, Matt's right up on Lake Michigan, which drastically influences the real estate market because there's a lack of supply, you know, just built into the market. This has always been the case. And now it's even the case more because there's just a, a national housing shortage. Number two is the transportation to downtown for those that need to get downtown still um, is amazing. So you have the commuter line, which is the Metro train, and you also have the L, which takes you down into the heart of the city. Wrigley Field, you can get down into Evanston. Number three you have Evanston. So the next suburb over is kind of like a city and suburb combination. You have a lot of restaurants, you have um, high-rise condominiums, you have festivals, you have farmer markets, you have Northwestern University. It's just a great thing to be living next to. You have sports at Northwestern. You're gonna have concerts at Northwestern soon at the football stadium. Um, you know, there is a great vibe in Evanston, which is right next to Wilmette. On the other side of Wilmette, you have Winneka, which is more um, traditional North Shore, a little more quiet, um, very beautiful. Um, the average price of homes is, you know, one to 1.1 uh, million, um, and you have tremendous schools. So you're kind of have it all. On one side, you have Evanston. On the other side, you have Winneka. So when you're looking at Wilmette, you want to look at the downtown area too, which has some of the best restaurants on the North Shore now. Uh, the North Shore is being all the suburbs uh, north of the city on the lakefront. Um, and people from all the other areas or even the city are coming up to Sophia Steakhouse um, and uh, Pescadero and Pit and Tap. And it, it's just a great vibe. This is all in the last, you know, 12 years. This has all happened. So there are a lot of people moving up um, and, you know, people have lived here a long time, both just really profiting from the increase in home values and enjoying uh, the quiet, but really fun and easy to get to 
um, you know, location of Wilmette. So uh, Wilmette has a lot of walk to school um, locations, walk to the train, walk to downtown, walk to the lake. There's a lot of uh, proximity to great things, walking and also biking, which you can do on the bike trails. And you can also do up Sheridan Road all the way up to Wisconsin if you like. Um, there are great uh, systems through the forest preserves uh, for biking, running, and um, great um, paths that are not through the forest preserves but are along the lakefront. So just west of Wilmette is Glenview. So people who want a little bit more for their money sometimes will look at Glenview. But I've had people bounce back and say, you know what, we'll take the smaller house. We just love Wilmette. We love the cobblestone streets. We love being closer to the lake. So if it's not an absolute priority for a bigger home for less money, then people will stick with, with Wilmette and, uh, you know, get what you can as far as a house goes and live closer to the lakefront um, and in a, you know, location with very old historic streets, trees, and the charm. So this is Wilmette. The market is absolutely sizzling in Wilmette. People are primed for the new year and for potential listings coming up. So call, text, email if you want opportunities. You know, they're going to be coming on the market um, and uh, to have an eye out for those and anything else you need to know about schools, restaurants, lake, living here, um, especially if you're moving from out of town or the city and aren't as familiar. Um, I'm one of the top agents here and uh, have been in the area my whole life. So just call, text, email if you need anything at all.